graphic extras. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a quick glass effect in Photoshop, Photoshop CC. And I've got a scroll brush, this brush is from graphic extras. And I'm just going to quickly set the colour, I'm just going to set it to black. And now I'm going to use the quick mask mode, just going to click that. Just going to quickly go over here and apply this scroll brush and I'm going to apply it a few times just to really give it a bit of depth and now filter blur I'm just going to slightly blur it click OK right now I've done that I can actually come out and I'm going to inverse inverse that and now what I want is to actually save that as a selection now to so I can use it in the lighting effect so I'm just going to go now to select save selection click OK. Right, so now you can see over here in the channels, you've got an alpha channel, got selection has been saved. I'm just going to get rid of that now. Don't don't want that. Still there, but I'm just going to now go to, now I've got a white surface here, and I'm just going to apply the lighting effect with that. And now go down to render, lighting effects. Now this one, you can actually apply just many different designs using this lighting effect. And there's just the basic default. It's just got an embossed or glass-like effect. Looks sort of glass-like. You've got two lights here, but obviously you can just mess around with these different uh, settings here to set different things. The key thing to actually get the this emboss is over here, is the texture. Just go there and select the alpha channel. So you can change the, the height. You can move it to two or whatever. Obviously you go too far, it doesn't look... It's, it's okay but I'm just going to go just about there and just click OK right now I've actually got that once it finishes yep it's gonna finish just thinking about it yes it's finally finished next thing to do and well actually at this point you've got fairly glass like effect already but I'm just going to go to image adjustments and curves I'm just going to tweak this just to give it more glass-like effect. So move that down and you of course can play with this heart's content but it's, it gives a nice up and down sort of curve like that. It gives a nice glass effect but of course you can like I say you can tweak it up and down depending what you want to achieve and you can maybe create more extreme glass-like effects by modifying that curve. And now click OK and that's it you've got a glass effect quick and easy hope you found uh, this tutorial of interest and that uh, you subscribe to the graphic extras channel always adding many new tutorials thank you much